dukkan yabo da jinjina su tabbata ga Allah madaukakin sarki yabo da aminci su tabbata ga fiyan halitta na bin tsira na bin rahma annabi muhammad da alayin sa da sahaban sa waki daya baya ga yan uwa masu kallo assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh barkamu da saduwa a wannan lokaci insha Allah ta'ala a yanzu zamu tattauna game da mahimman abubuwa guda biyu abu na farko da zamu tattauna a kai shine abin da aka wayi gare da shi ko kuma in ce tun jiya naga abin tun jiya ta tare da farko da na gani na zuci tsoka na ce kuma daga bayan ga wato manyan gidajen radio da jaridu suna wallafa labarin cewa wato ku tsohon gwamnatin jihar Kano Malam Ibrahim Shikarau ya ci nasarar lashi zaben sanata a kuma jami'ar NNPP tare da cewa shi din dan takarar jami'ar PDP na san cewa tuni wani ku ya fara tambaya wani mai rude wani ya fara ji ko dai wannan tatsuniya ce ta za a ce mutun ya fito a wata jami'a yayi takara a wata jami'a kuma ya ci a wata jami'a tabbas abu ne da ba a taba yi ba amma kuma gashi za a yi a yanzu ko kuma mu ce akwai shi a rubuce a dokar Najeriya idan yana iya zo amma kuma hakan bata faru ba sai yanzu za ta faru sai zama bakon abu a wajen mutane akwai shi ne da waka ba ta muku shekaran jiya game da wani matashi wanda ya ci nasarar zama wato ko dan majalisar jiha ba tare da ya fito ta karaba wanda wannan shi ma daidai daga cikin abubuwan mamaki da suka faru kuma cikin ikon Allah duka abu biyun sun faru ne da suke da alaka da ko wace sun faru ne a jami'ar NNPP ta Kwankwaso to kaga kenan jami'ar Kwankwaso ta zo da abubuwan ban mamaki a shekara ta 2023 abun ma wake na farko shine wancan matashi wanda ya zama sanata ba tare da yayi takara ba sai kuma wannan Malam Ibrahim Shekarau wanda ya zama wato ko afu wanda ya zama wancan ya zama dan majalisa ba tare da yayi takara ba sai kuma Malam Ibrahim Shekarau yanzu da ya zai zama sanata a PNNPP ba tare da yayi takara a jami'ar ba a wata jami'ar yayi kuma hukumar ILAC ta tabbatar da hakan ta yadda da hakan amma na farko an warware zaurancen eh an warware zaurancen cewa wato mahaifin sa ne ya rasu ana saura kwana shida aka rantsar da shi dan kuma mutane suka mara masa ba suka zabe shi wanda matashi ne an ce hafizin qur'ani ne malami ne na addini yana da ilimi sosai kuma yaro ne bai wuce shekaru 30 ba bai auren farko ba ba shakka Allah shi ke ba da mulki ga wanda ya so Allah da dai kan yi bature in ji malam ba hushe to wani abu na biyun shi kuma akan malam Ibrahim shekaru kun san cewa malam Ibrahim shekaru tsohon dan takara ne a jami'ar Kwankwaso tsohon dan takara ne a jami'ar Kwankwaso ta NNPP to daga basani ya shelanta da kansa cewa ya fice daga cikin jami'ar inda ya koma jami'ar PDP wanda cikin ikon Allah a jihar Kano bai malam Ibrahim shekaru bai nasara ba a cikin jami'ar sa to kwazam a jiya da tattare sai ga sanarwa cewa hukumar ainihin ta sanar da cewa Malam Ibrahim shekaru ya ci sanata a ainihin wato ko jami'ar NPP a NNPP to inda al'amarin yake shine mutane duk sun shiga ruɗa ne mutane duk sun ta tambaya wannan wasu irin bare kalaci menene fara haka to bari in warware mana wannan zauran can inda al'amarin yake shine a jami'ar NNPP bayan fitowar Malam Ibrahim shekaru jami'ar ta tsayar da wato ko sanata rufa'i sana hanga a matsayin shine dan takara na wato ko jami'ar a matsayin dan takara Kano sanata na Kano Central to bayan fitowar wato shekaru ko ci kafin ya wuce da zabe da sati guda da kansa ya bayyana cewa doka ne idan mutun yana wata jami'a ko da ya fita babu abu ne zai rushe shi a matsayin dan takara in ba mutuwa yi ba wani shine dokar Ainihin sai dai idan mutum mutuwa amma cewar sa ya fita wannan ba zai cire shi daga cikin yan takara ba to sai dai a jawabin Malam Ibrahim Shekaru ya bayyana cewa ko da an yi hakan an ce shi ya ci to shi baya bukata to kwazan sai hakan ta faru sai hakan ta faru aka sanar da cewa shine ci duk da mutanen jami'ar NNPP ba shi suka kada kuri'a ba sun kada wa sanata wato rufa'i sana hanga ne to amma hukumar INEC ba ruwan ta sunan sa ina nan ba goge ba sai zamana shekaru ne ci madadin haka misalin da zai fito da hakan a fili kamar a ce hukuma ce ta tantance ma'aikatan ta ko wani ta tsara mai albashi sai wani ya rika zuwa aiki a madadin wani to ba ruwan hukuma da wanda yake zuwa wanda sunan sa yake a can shine yauwa to haka nan ma abin yake wanda aka kada kuri'a ita hukumar Alexander ta tantance ta hukunci cewa shi aka tsaida to fa babu sokewa 
eh babu soke wannan magana har sai an yi zabe to yanzu me zai biyo baya menene abin da zai biyo baya shin shi malam ibrahim shekaru zai karbi wannan takara ko kuwa ba zai karba ba zai karamci kaman da ya fada a farko abu ne sananne malam ibrahim shekaru mutun ne karimi mutun ne mai dattako mutun ne wanda duniya ba ta rufe masa ido ba ina cikin malamai wadanda Allah ya ba su dace suka zama ainihin wato ko yan siyasa mutane da suna ganin ba zai yi malam ibrahim shekaru ya rufe ido mulki ya rufe masa ido ya karba wannan takara ba zai yi kara zai ba wa wato shi wancan sanata hanga zai ba masa amma idan ya karba ya ce ina so to fa baba yanda zasu ko da ta kai ga sun je kotu ana ta murda murda karshe dai yanda hukumar ainihin ta hukunta shi ne Allahumma illa sai dai ko kotu ta da hurumin ta karbe wani hukunci da ainihin ta yi ba sa wasu dalilai ma in ba haka ba shi kenan ya zama shi ne sanata ka ga wannan abun mamaki ne babba to sai dai akwai wani kalubale ko da ya karba shi shekaru din to fa ai zaura daga jami'ar APC shi kuma yana iya kara ya ce ba da shi ta karawa ga wanda ya ta kara da shi to ka kotu ita ce za ta karba abun kenan nan za a yi ta fafata shar'a har sai abun da ya turo ya buzo na di wanda abun da ake hange karshe dai wannan zaben sake shi zai to Allah ya samu da shi mu abu na biyu za mu tattauna akai shi ne batun zaben shugaban kasa wanda kawo yanzu mutane sun yi jugum jugum suna jiran sakamako kasancewar akwai murda murda a cikin zaben a zuwa yanzu dai a babu wani abu da hukumar ainihin ta kara cewa ana jira lokaci ta dora inda ta tsaya to sai dai akwai dauje cikin nadi akwai barazana a cikin wannan zaben wanda ya sa ake ganin wata kila karshe sai ta kai ga aroshi zaben shugaban kasa an ce a maimaita ka kuma ta da kalubalan da muka gabata muku cewa dino malai ya tashi a daidai lokacin da ainihin take sanar da sakamako na jar ikiti ya kalubalan cokunci inda ya ce akwai matsala yana bukatar a rushe wannan ko a dakatar da fadin wannan hukuncin ba su gamsu da sakamakon zaben ba na ci karo da ni bidiyo inda wannan yake bayani filla filla game da irin abin da suka gano na san kai baya ga haka ta wagar tarayyar turai da ke sa ido akan harkokin zabe a kasar mu Najeriya ta yi Allah wadai da abin da aka aikata a wannan zaben inda ta tuhumi hukumar ainihin da cewa ba ta yi tsari ba ko ba a ainihin wato yi zallar adalci a cikin hukuncin ba akwai abun da ba su mata dadi ba ita wannan ta waga ta sa ido akan ayyukan zaben Najeriya kadan daga cikin abun da ba su mata dadi ba jin kirin kawo fam din shugaban kasa wanda ba kawo shi ba har sai bayan karfe 10 na dare wanda hakan ya fada damuwa a zakatan mutane haka zalika karancin na urori yana daga cikin abun da suka hukunta kai a cikin wannan zabe noted that there have been abuses of incumbency where those who wish to uh organize rallies in 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 governor in uh, where governors are not of the same party that they have been hindered in some way uh we have seen instances in which uh there have been uh intimidation and therefore we took note of these issues and these fall well short of international standards that Nigeria has set for itself um and we would encourage uh these cases to be prosecuted uh because impunity uh it discourages people from taking part and this is not uh up to the standards of inclusivity that we want to see in these elections well there was in banda haka akwai matsaloli da yawa wanda hukumar ainihin ta fuskanta da kanta ta bayyana karancin takardar naira a nan ta karancin man fetar sannan kawo yanzu akwai karanar hukumar da matsalolin tsaro ta sa ba a gudanar da zabe ba a tsakanin arewacin Najeriya da kudancin kasancewar yau kwana na bi kenan bayan an kammala zaben Najeriya kuma gashi kun iso wannan wurin taro dan jin a baban da kungiyar tarayyar Turai wato ta wagarta da suka zo sa ido suka yi menene kake ganin abubuwan da kuka lura da baya ga na kungiyar tarayyar Turai da ka ji ka saurare su abin da suka ga to mu democracy na mu sabuwa ce kuma za a yi trial and error za a yi mistakes a yi kuskure akwai wanda an yi su da ba a ji dadi cewa ana saki irin kuskuren nan ba koya ne a fatan mu dai Allah ya da da karshe za a samu zaman lafiya ba zai zama abun fada ba a matsayin ka na wanda ya sa ido akan yadda aka gudanar da zabe a Najeriya da menene da menene kai da kanka ka gano a yayin wannan akwai abubuwan da kamar rashin kudi um matsalan transport um ba a fara abubuwa da wuri ba ina ganin cewa akwai wani level na ko overconfidence karfin gwiwa mai yawa yawa wanda bai kamata ba amfani da technology on the nationwide scale a duk Najeriya din nan sabuwa ce 
akwai su garuru kwa can daban irin su Brazil da su sun yi amfani da shi kuma ya amfane su Kenya abin nan amma akwai kuma wani su garuru ka kaman su Germany su ba su amfani da technology su ba su amince da shi kamar yadda mu muka amince da shi ba to mu ma dai haka zamu koya zamu ci gaba da ita za a gyara ne duk dai can gaba dai i think ya zama karatu darasi ne muga ya za a kara gyara system din um yayi serving uh, ya taimake mu samun duka irin ayi nasara dai abun dai da kashe ganin ana ci gaba da tattara sakamakon zabe a Najeriya menene fatanka a matsayin mai fada aji kana cikin kungiya da ake cewa interface wanda suke shiga tsakanin addinai menene fatanka ga Najeriya a matsayin ka na dan Najeriya da kuma a kungiyance da kuke kokarin shiga tsakanin addinai zaman lafiya zaman lafiya kada yi fada in akwai matsala akai kotu zaman lafiya mun gode kwarai da gaskiya san yawa Sanduwa da kasar mu Najeriya kenan kowa ya fada duk wanda ya zo mu amalanci Najeriya ya ganda ake tafiyar da abubuwa a Najeriya akan komai sai yayi mamakin al'amarmu sai dai kai Allah ya gyara mana duk da mutane suna ganin wannan zaben an yi shi lafiya an gama lafiya to gaskiya ba gama ba muna fatan dai Allah sa a gama lafiya din domin a yanzu haka akwai tsoro da ake ji idan an sarar da sakamako wani abu na iya faruwa dai kenan na biyu idan wannan hukuma ta sa ido akan harkokin zaben Najeriya ta to mu cewa akwai badakala a ciki akwai kaza akwai kaza akwai kaza wanda daga cikin zargin da ake har da siyan kuri'o ana zargi sosai cewa yan takara wasu sun yi amfani da kudade wajen siyan kuri'o mutane mun dai riga mun san abin da magani na hutuna cewa wasu sun raba taliya ko a tampofi ko sabulai sun sayi tunanin mutane sun kada musu kuri'a magana ta gaskiya hakan zai iya zama karfin gwiwa ga cikin iyar da ba ita tace zabe ba wajen ta tada tsaniya cewa an yi mata magudi Allah ya kiyo wa sallallahu wa baraka ala nabiyina muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh